guys, welcome back to our Hot Pot Talk Show. I'm your host, DJ Daikiri, and... No, no, baby. <laughs> yeah, so um, we have an amazing guest tonight, which is Vera. Hello, guys. And uh, Christopher Lee. Hello, what's up? <laughs> yeah, so um, give us more introduction about yourself. So my name is Vera, I'm uh, from Portugal, it's already 10 years that I have been uh, living in Beijing. Um, wow! <laughs> yes, 10 years. Oh, better! <laughs> yeah. yeah. um, I pretty much organize events, uh, cooperative uh, events, and then uh, music festivals, and I do artist management, that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm Chris. Christopher Lee. I'm. It's a huge melting pot, but I'm. Well, what have you been doing this week? I've <laughs> seen you this week. I've been quite busy, but about my backstory, I'm Canadian Caribbean, specifically Jamaica and Barbados, and um, I'm doing my masters, but I'm also a tourism research and development professional. Hey now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, our episode today dedicated to. Um, Living in Beijing, yeah. experience like uh, since where I live here also for 10 years as a Vera, mm -hmm. and you've been here I've for... I've been here for five years, and we oh. want to talk about the essential, okay. the survival Survive tips, kids. <laughs> the survival tips, the survival what to do and what not to do in uh, your first at least like six to one year, year. six months to one year mm -hmm. in Beijing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you need to know? Do you want to go first? Sure. Um, <laughs> honestly, I think the, that one of the things that is the most important uh, is to download uh, WeChat, Alipay, because Point. that's... Uh, Wait, what is WeChat? Okay, so WeChat is pretty much an uh, um, APP um, that combines like uh, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram everything. Uh, it's a one-stop shop, guys. Uh, and you can make like payments, you can get, uh, um, book your flights or, or your train, uh, tickets. train tickets, uh, even, um, you can communicate, you can post uh, pictures. Pretty and much, yeah, can, it's, yeah. it's, it's an essential lifeline when, if you're deciding to come to China. You yeah. need WeChat, download it, that's all you need if to you know. If you don't want right? to die. <laughs> Download WeChat. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> and also, I think what it helps you do as well is when you download WeChat, because it has that huge, uh, connects you to a lot of the social groups. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I did when I was here is that it helped me connect to who was already in Beijing. And mm -hmm. being from the Caribbean, mm -hmm. I was able to meet a lot of other Caribbean because people. Because it's a very small community, network. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, it was to the point where I had someone literally pick me up at the airport, take me to school. Aww. Like, it was, I got the full hookup. Did you know this person before you came No, I literally was he just asking know. around, and then, the, and then somebody in that Caribbean group chat said, hey, it's okay, I, I went to your school, I'll help you out. So it That's was perfect. Nice. So WeChat is, it really saved It always life. happens, though. But it doesn't always happen at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. But people like that exist. So basically, Try to get engaged with people before you Correct. come here. So exactly. Go online, find mm -hmm. the forums and everything. We all know Google. We all know the bait sites. Mm -hmm. Go online and try to connect with people. What else? Well, especially, especially like uh, uh, if you come to China, you should uh, download a, a proper VPN because uh, um, yeah, I agree with that. without a VPN, you would not be able to uh, open uh, access Insta a lot of sites. Like Instagram, uh, Facebook. Cool. Google, Google. Uh, YouTube, YouTube uh, yes. Gmail. Okay, okay, imagine you're back at home now. You're planning to come. Right. What do you do? What What do you pack? What What, well, what The thing about it is, that as guys, it's quite simple for us. But I don't know. I guess I would love to hear about you girls because I know a lot. I hear a lot of girls talk about hair products and then other essentials. Man, man. You, man. You, you so why don't you girls give us the four one story talking that. about like <laughs> I came to China in 2008 and uh -huh. I was already dyeing my hair in a blonde, right? Okay. So after some time, I need to do it again, right? Obviously, my hair grown and like I need to fresh it up. Right. After a few so months. So I went to shop and I saw this color, right? Like the, 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 the. It looks <laughs> like she the She thought it was the perfect wanted. color. It looks like that Marilyn I wanted to have blonde, it. So I'm like, right? let me try. So I came <laughs> I, I, home. I think I, think I got the, the, the same. Like, I and don't know I what you're going to say. And I came home and I dyed my hair and I went red. 
Oh. And ah. it's like, it was that, like, not even orange. Orange. It was that hot orange. Hot spot. Hot spot. Hot spot. Hot spot. Specifically for you girls, you were saying something a little earlier about sizes and that. Can you tell oh, us a little bit okay. more about that? Oh, okay. I kind of, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so just, when we were talking dish, about this give topic, us the dish. okay. I was like, I have a lot of friends here in mm-hmm. Beijing and in China that have big feet. And we say big feet as in you don't really have big feet. But China perspective, you have big feet. Which is basically, um, I would say European, we call it um, 38 is small. So 38 onwards is big, right? right. Um, UK will say six. Five sixes onwards. Got it. In America, we might go seven eights. Yeah, is, is massive. It's for, in, for a woman. In okay. Russia, what is the size? It's the same as a European. The same, right? European. So for us, it's normal. Like, hey, mm-hmm. but in here? China, me as a apparently general size person, I cannot find my heels. Forty-one. Okay. You're 41, I'm 38, right? I'm 38 too. You're 38? But that's that? the thing about like China is that I'm f- like, it's not even unfortunate. It's fortunate. Like, look, local Chinese people, they have small feet. They do. Mm-hmm. So they can, they have all the sizes to fit them. The Talk style is amazing. Jeez. And uh, even and like everything. that, because I'm like, I'm pretty much tall girl, you yeah, know. Yeah, you're like, very so tall girl. Then I the... was struggling to find a pants. Like, they they that part. last, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but... That can go down to the ankle, right? right? And we're like, we're Russian like people tall, tall. in general, yeah, you know. Right, so right. when we come here to find somebody that can fit. It doesn't work. But have you guys been finding things now though? Now it's a little bit better. Because we need to paint the right picture. So what it is, is that what they're saying, is you need to walk with your essentials so that in the first couple of months you have it covered. But eventually, China you does have a lot to, of things. Of course, you know? unless so, you basically, and this leads me to my next point, right. unless you really unlock the doors, because this is the whole point about this talk show. Look, when you're very new to a different country, be it China, be it Ecuador, be it wherever, Europe, wherever. wherever it is, you need to unlock the doors to know what you're facing, right? right? So you meet different people and know the different experiences. So until you do that, mm-hmm. so you ain't gonna know shit. And I think we're talking just about like clothes and, sh- and like how you said, shoes and so forth. What about but social I think, life? Right? Yeah, I think not even just social life, but I was even gonna talk more specifically to like just being aware about your health as well. Because mm-hmm. the thing is in China, uh, one of the, th- it's, uh, it's kind of a serious thing, I always thing, bring right? my, my pills, like a, at you know, you always want to make sure you bring your medicine. Yeah. You medicine, also need to get a full check But what you need so. to do before you come, even before you come, right. is get a full checkup. Yeah. And yeah. when we say checkup, meaning 100% everything from top to bottom, yeah. including, I know it's a bit of a taboo subject, but including the sexual things. Yeah. Because and it's important to know it beforehand, especially yeah. if you're dealing with yeah. a doctor that, exactly. you, that knows your history. Yeah. It's just, it helps you to know, so that when you're coming into a new environment, you know what you're coming Yeah. With. When I came to 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 China, I I found out there is one uh, one fer- uh, pharmacy in um, uh, Wang Fujing. Uh, among all the other pharmacies, this is the, the only one that it's awesome for foreigners. Mm. Right. Uh, because this one, you can just go with the exact name of uh, of your medicine. Right. In and English? then they uh, exactly, and then they, and they all translation. tell you, uh, they all tell you the name of the their medicine. The Chinese, Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine. It's equivalent with the same, with, yeah. uh, with the same uh, components. Because yeah. the thing is like uh, <laughs> the. Um, Sometimes you, you just go and and feel tempted to look for some, some medicine that is the exact translation of the uh, the one that you have. I was but just um, going to suggest also uh, for people that come to to China and they have uh, um, zero knowledge of Chinese. Uh, once again, the 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 WeChat. When you write something, they can translate it directly to to, to oh, Chinese. That's kind of new. It's kind of new. But, but yeah, but at least they, so yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or they oh, can download that that one, or they can download the 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 Pai Tu Fang. That's the uh, Pai Tu translation. So so you just speak to to the to to this app, and they give you the Chinese uh, the Chinese translation. translation. Yeah, yeah. So like, what's the name of it again? Because I actually it don't is, have it. It's uh, Pai Tu Fang. Spy we're gonna put it on the yeah. We're gonna put it on the comment box. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna put it in the comment okay. box. Baidu, it's Chinese Google. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a website where you just go and do you research. research. It's a browser. So, it's and a browser. they have as a Google translator, they have a Baidu translator, yeah, like right. and all this like stuff. Yeah. But you need so. to have it in Chinese a lot of times, or no? 
Yes, it's not. I don't really use Baidu. Baidu. I use uh, Me too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah. With this one, honestly, um, uh, in my company, uh, our um, finance lady she doesn't speak English. Okay. So every time that uh, I have to do all the documents uh, uh, in right. Chinese, like uh -huh. even the money application, everything is in Chinese. Uh -huh. So every time that there is something that she uh, she doesn't know how Understand, to explain it, to, yeah, to, you to make it clear. Translate. So basically, yeah, she just yeah. speaks yeah. into it. And then, uh, and then I uh, I understand because uh, when she speaks it, then the also oh, the it's live translation. Yes, live translation. Okay. I've heard of it, but I've just never yeah, used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Awesome. We're gonna link it in the um, comment box below to have a live translation and right. also to have a normal translation of words mm -hmm. and all the apps that you need to download before you come to China. Yeah. Okay. But what is the next thing? Like well, from talking, your point of view. Talking about translation, right? Well, how about to get some knowledge, a basic knowledge of Chinese language? Yes. Just and this is really also your point basic, Both of you had this. Yeah, basic knowledge of Chinese language. Mm. Because like just to say some really simple things like To learn it. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Thank you. How are you? Yes, yeah, like this like yeah. how, how much yeah. how, yeah. Much, how yeah. much you know like exactly. Because you, you like, can wanna... starve. Let me tell you something. You can starve oh, if you don't come with and if you don't know how to say certain words, you can starve. And the tones. Well, and, and the all, tones. Either that or you're subject to McDonald's the whole time. And that's what nobody wants, right? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. you know, but I've heard that before. Like, there have been people saying, you know, it's okay. My first six months, I had McDonald's, KFC, and Subway. And, and I was still alive. Like, and I was still alive. And the pictures. And the pictures. <laughs> The, the, the instant noodles. That's I'm gonna yeah. have instant noodles because you feel it. <laughs> Ramen, as, you, as long that's as you say. That's student life boy. Yeah. Life. But what about kind of like the preconceptions about people coming to China? What do people outside of China feel? When you go back home, what do people say? I think that the main thing is just that they think it's a lot more censored than it really is. I mean, mm. I'm, don't get me wrong, I think that did you um, try dog? I think that yes, yes, we're very full aware that the, the that there is a certain there are certain do's and don'ts as in like any country. Every country but yeah. I definitely think that China, one of the things I'd like our viewers to know is that China is definitely moving in a very progressive direction. Very progressive. I think I mean when I'm even speaking about LGBT, when you think about a lot of these type of things, they are becoming a yeah. lot more oh, open. Very you know? LGBT. Oh, you, you know, you know, you know that uh, like last week? The, they, 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 way, they, the Weibo, they, right? The no, we need to talk about this and what's hot in the pot. Don't skip okay, now. Okay, okay, Don't okay. skip so, now. Because right. we got the hot, what's so hot in the pot. Okay, because so, I feel like we've talked a lot about, about preparation. So again, talking about be, getting some Chinese um, standard mm. phrases, having your essential mm. kit, um, and so forth. But what about when you actually get here? Because I find what that... What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? One of the things that I find a lot of people do is sometimes they take a little while to get out of their comfort zone. They don't zone. mingle. And so, but it's so important to get out and travel, to meet people. Yes. And to, and to talk to the Chinese. Yes. And that's how you get to understand the culture. But what are the don'ts of like when you want to... Okay, I was, I was talking well, about, about you, this. Yeah, go I on. was, go I was saying to you before, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you... Indulge yourself in another culture, the best thing to do is to learn about the other cultures Correct. and almost mm -hmm. kind of like the detrimental essentials, mm -hmm. not just the essentials, yeah, but the detrimental essentials. Like, and what, you're right. what was your point before? About My point was just that it's just that as you get out more, as you meet more people, and especially as you mix amongst the locals, mm. then you start to understand and learn a lot of those things as well. Mm. It's good to have the preparation, but let's be real, I think a lot of the learning you do is from when you actually start, um, mm. like moving through and you actually have your life here. And For sure. Can we talk about food and products? Food. You know how important it is, especially for people markets. who got here ten years ago. Get the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the wait, cheese. Wait, wait, wait. The first time wait, I tried the cheese in China cheese was story. five tell years ago. The story. Uh -huh. What about people that are fresh here and learn just want how to cook at home? Learn how to cook at home. <laughs> Honestly, That's all. because learn how to cook at home okay. with ingredients. What markets do you go to? Okay, so then let's in talk Beijing. about let's talk about the markets then. So you know you have the commercial ones such as April Gourmet and mm. you have Jenny Lou's, but then you actually have market markets such as Sanya. Oh, sorry, Sanya 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 Lee. Sanya Lee. Lee. Where you can get a fresh fish. Right, exactly. And other like meat, chicken, meat, beef, chicken. Oh, like I love food. Sanya Lee. By the way, if anybody's coming to China, just holler at us and comment. What market were you talking about? We're going to tell you about the market. We're going to give you directions to San the, Yali market. A, actually, a lot of, a lot of uh, restaurant owners, they, they... They shop at these places. Yeah, they, they shop at San Yali. How do you know, find out? Because how did the people find out about these, place, these persons? 
Uh, it's, you it's a yeah. That's through WeChat. I would I say once again, like mingling. Mm-hmm. Uh, mingling. You have to know, like, if you if you don't ask, you will never know. If if for instance, if you just come uh, here to to study for uh, six months or a year, okay, and and you spend all your time going, waking up, going to classes, coming back and study, it's you know, okay. like a, out of your room. Exactly. Just walk, walk outside. Walk yeah. around. Like do the circle around your dormitory. And that is or very apartment. daunting. That is very daunting. And see what you have around. Yeah. I want to do a little kind of game. All right. Right. I want you guys to, anytime you pick out, it's called Never Have I Ever. You guys for all played Never Have I Ever. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll go. Um, I'll take yeah, the first one, first. okay? Let's see what do we have here. Never have I ever been stalked before in person or on WeChat. I've been stalked I guess this is... Oh, dear. <laughs> I've never had that problem. Okay. Shall we keep going? Okay. I think so it's your turn I next, right? What's next? Falling asleep while waiting for Baidu Waimai slash McDonald's, which is basically like a delivery system, right? So you... Uh-huh. Get delivery while you're home, right? So, okay. and basically, it's 24. it's 24 hours, right? So, I'm a drink because I have fallen asleep while getting delivery back home. Oh, dear. It sounds like a juicy story. It, actually, it's very <laughs> short and sweet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got home, I was lit, I was drunk, I was turned up, and I fell asleep. And I woke up, it was bright in the morning. I got McDonald's. Right. And I fell asleep when I ordered it, right? Okay. And guess what? I woke up in the morning. I guess after 42. Uh, yeah, they were not, babe, oh they God. were hammering, not even knocking. Hammering, boop, 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 boop. But I was so turned up, guys. I didn't hear it. I fell asleep. Did you end up getting the McDonald's in the end? I didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> because dear. guess All what? Right. I okay. woke up in the morning <laughs> and it was six hours later or, or, or something or another. And yeah, I didn't. But I paid for the meal, by the way. I paid for the meal. So the main point is that, that you can have some fun adventures and if anything else, you have 24 hour McDonald's. Of course. That's what you need to know. Exactly. <laughs> and life in Beijing, you learn and you learn and you learn. Lots of right? life lessons. Yeah. So I think you're next, back. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> girl, girl. <laughs> Have I never ever gone to a market and pretend, pretend my good friend shows <laughs> there so I can bargain and get a cheap price? Shima. That happens so many times. Let me sip on it first. You do too. I know how you love to bargain. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not drinking with you though. You drink by yourself. Okay. You so, pulled it out. Wait, hold on. In so, China. What was it? Uh-huh. So when you come to shop, right, in China, they are professionals in bargaining and like they put in the bargaining, price. Bargaining. Uh-huh. But yeah, so when you go, for example, a silk market on this kind of shops, uh-huh. they put the price for a pair of jeans like 800 kwai, which is like about $120. Mm. And then you can buy it for like 50 kwai. Right. <laughs> which you is have like, to spend so long there. So like, what do you do? Bargaining, bargaining. You say, but I come here every day. I'm your, I'm friend. your friend. My your friend, friend sends my me. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> introduce me. So they're like, okay, because your friend introduced me. Yeah. Or like introduced blah, blah, blah. They're so gonna they lower like, the give price. you like, they lower the, the price. price. So that's right. basically what's yeah. the point. Pick like, one, man. <laughs> the All right. So oh, you, she, she we, drink our, we haven't even. She, what we is it? We don't even know what it is. What is it? We haven't even heard it. Okay, it's about um, uh, eaten scorpion. Okay. Oh, oh shit. I've, yeah, I've eaten scorpion. Okay, because I've, I've so, eaten wait, wait, so frog. Say it officially. So never have you ever yeah, eaten, eaten spo- scorpion. Uh, scorpion. Okay. Uh, because the things like uh, um, in uh, Wang Fujing, there is uh, uh, for for the ones that don't, don't know, but in Wang Fujing, there is. Okay, let me let me know one So like uh, there was uh, the, uh, there is one street in uh, Wang Fujing, and uh, you have uh, uh, scorpions, you have snakes, Bats, you have uh, uh, stinky tofu. Any, any, like pretty much any kind of like insect, okay? Yes. Uh, and I, 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 I didn't. The fucked up thing is, it tastes, it tastes okay. Like, I, I, I that's the fucked up thing. I tasted it. No, no, no. I tried yeah, the scorpion. Yeah, it tastes like Chris Kitchen. Oh. No, the, just, the scorpion, I'm there is too, no problem. No. Uh, I tried the, the, the snake. Uh, it, it, it's like marshmallows. Like, it's like a, 
you eat, chew it, and you chew it, it's and chewy. then you eat it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I didn't like it. I had a little bit too much alcohol So for today, those extra, yeah. <laughs> you, you cannot do it. it. No, so if you're but, extra adventurous, you can check out the street at one for Jane. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's another conversation. Yeah, another one today they had. So, so are we doing one more round? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you pick up two, like, let me do Never have I ever ordered a cute in-season, well, this obviously doesn't apply to me. A cute in-season dress online for a cheap price, got excited, and then received a bed sheet like sack. Instead. And it's not even yeah. a dress, but any, I think the clothes any, in any, general, anything, right. yeah. but it looks so good in our online. shopping, and yeah. once we receive it. Yeah, I know. We're going to do an online shop. Type episode. of episode, episode. Okay. because that is deep. Because everybody that yeah, knows like e- eBay, eBay is exactly the same as we suffer. Yeah, exactly. So what is it that you have next? It's a big paper. <laughs> it's a very big paper. Um, being mistaken for a celebrity by a super amazing local Chinese. Yay! Really? That happened, yeah. What's all right? Let's okay. Let's just in one answer. Who was the celebrity? That's all Tina I want to know. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. I got. They didn't Tina. really explain to me what celebrity, but they, but say, they just oh, thought so you. Were I know movie, you, <laughs> and we know you. Can we take a picture? Which it was back in two thousand nine. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. So all I right. was on the subway, by the way, and it just like randomly they just. They corner you and they take your pictures. And you know the thing with Chinese people, like once they see somebody taking pictures of you, they want to take it, like they want to do that too, so. I'm trying to be saucy. Pretended to have conversation with a taxi driver using shima tui. Oh, man. Let me explain to you what a shima means, like yeah, like in the Chinese, and tui. It means like you're right. An like, agreement. Right. agreement. An agreement. Yeah, so. yeah. Yes, yes. So have I? Have I? Everybody. Yes, I have a lot of conversations where I just agree, agree, agree. Because you know, Chinese. I think Chinese drivers. They really like some of them. They like to talk. To they people. like to talk. And especially foreigners. You yeah. know, it's not like they meeting like foreigners like every All day the time. Life, so no, it's true. When they do. They're asking, where are you from? Oh, your country is that. Or your country, what is the difference? They're interested. Oh, do you like Chinese people? Exactly. Do you want to find a Chinese boyfriend? Or something, something you know, this yeah. kind of stuff. So I kind of th- like that about Chinese people, though. And that's one of the things that's changing more and more. And I think we were talking on it a little bit, that, that a lot of the younger Chinese are becoming more and more interested of in and other cultures well. foreigners and yeah. foreigners. So, so it's, it's building a really great relationship. And I think, you know, going back to the whole topic of life in Beijing and so forth, I think that's the one of the best parts. You're really China. in a, you're really, Beijing and China in general, but Beijing specifically, Beijing you're in a melting pot okay. of so many yeah. interesting people yeah. and cultures. So. Yeah, and that is an excellent point to end on. I think the overall situation says do not, do not underestimate China. That's one thing we can say. Agreed. Whatever yeah, city agree. you're in, China. do not under. Uh, can we agree on that? I can agree. we agree oh, on that? Agree. Exactly. And the people from other cities when like, oh, they see China so differently. Exactly. They're like, oh, Chinese people that that. And when they come here, they're like, it's amazing. Wow. What but you know what? Let's face so it. The I truth is, is that you have. Everybody has. I think you. you right? It's only until you come to China and you start to to really live here even. That you, you would understand. understand what it is, and exactly. I think that's like that's the main point that you're talking about. It's a, it's very diverse, it's very dynamic, and it's one of those things that you just need to come and see for yourself. And guess what? We got a dynamic guest right now. There you We've go. We got Christopher Lee, <laughs> who's representing the islands, there the Caribbean go. <laughs> islands. We have got Vera, who is representing is Portugal. We know that, but you are generally the European. Contact yeah. and you right yeah, now, Caribbean. honestly, like you are the Caribbean yes. contract. Yeah. You get it, <laughs> right? I'm gonna contract you. Hey, right. you are the Caribbean. And we have contract. Russian and uh, we have African. Uh, so I think I think this just comes to show you what a diverse group this is and all the different perspectives. Of course. So at the end of the day, guys, you know we're talking about from a diverse perspective, but the most important thing is just come to China. You're gonna get to see and really experience what it's really all about. And book your tickets. Now, <laughs> and to wrap up the show, because guess what? We can talk about this all, all day. All night. But and we'll do a couple of uh, episodes. Exactly. And podcasts dedicated to uh, life in, in Beijing. Life in Beijing. Yeah, right. yeah. And China in general. In China in general. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
So we want to thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to wrap this shit up right now. Thank you guys. It's been your host, Nino. And DJ Dakiri and our guests, Vera and Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye.